Well, today I would like to tell you something about the material. Actually, it takes very little. An open poured paper, that is a paper that is not too slippery. And of course, it needs a pencil, an HB pencil. HB means half bold or semi hard. It allows us to make strokes that are deep, black and thick, as well as strokes that are fine, narrow and light. I think it will be a landscape. Further, a kneaded rubber is helpful. It allows the lines to be lightened. This is especially helpful if you have so-called false lines. You can then simply draw the right line over it and the eye hides the wrong line. On the other hand, if you use a conventional eraser, you run the risk of either damaging the paper, which looks ugly, or simply leaving a smudge. We prefer to put the conventional eraser aside. To me, the rubber is more of an enemy than a friend. The water-soluble pencils are also very good. They can be erased like normal pencils, but you can paint the strokes like a watercolor with the brush in a second step. Here I put some graphite on the paper with the tilted pencil so that the line is a bit wider and brighter. Also helpful are Copic markers, which are acid-free felt tip pens. With them one can blend the color longer than usually. So we have less clouds, respectively. You can paint over and over so that the surface becomes soft, like a watercolor surface. There are different brands. Here the original with two different tips, one flat and one pointed. I like the pens of the brand Tombow because they have a point like a brush. So when I colorize, I always let the, le the edges of the surface flutter. This means that the edges of the gray area here do not run along the pencil lines. This is good for the viewer. This openness allows the viewer to interpret the form independently. These self-developed and produced inner pictures are often more beautiful than the finished given one pictures. Now, back to the watercolor pencil. With a fine brush, never dip the brush completely. The cuff of the brush should not be filled with water because otherwise it will drip out control uncontrolled later. Only dip it slightly. I can now paint the graphite like watercolor. Look. I myself really like the watercolor box for the coloring of sketches. I can use it to combine objects as one whole or to create a colorful mood. Here too, I always use fine tones. They should only give the eye a hint, evoke the inner image. We like mixed colors, so here I mix ultramarine with umber and some Prussian blue. The dirt on the palette doesn't really bother me. On the contrary, it's wild. Isn't that good? Again, the edges of the watercolor surface are forming lines. Hmm, and now I thought I'm done, but I would like to add something in the foreground, perhaps trees? Okay, let's leave it that way. This is all the material you need for sketching.